So there's a one-time opportunity to make an absurd amount of gold coins in Lost Ark, or to collect an absurd amount of crystals, either one. Right now is the only time to do this. I've seen this before in Arch Age, and it's the exact same thing all over again. So what's happening is there are people who are paying to win, okay? And because of that, there's a market opportunity that will only exist for maybe a few weeks, maybe a month or two max, and what it is is people are buying crystals and then selling the crystals. That's right. You can sell crystals to other players in return for gold coins. And because the game just came out, right now is probably close to the cheapest we're ever going to see them. Or maybe it'll hit a lower point sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, but right now, it's so cheap. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to invest all of your gold coins into crystals. Which you can't go wrong. Crystals are the things that cost real life money. Now, if this is anything like Arch Age... In the beginning, for the first week or two, especially the first month at the latest, maybe, uh, you could buy all the items that cost real-life money from other people for so cheap, it was insane. But then, as time went on and people got maxed out, they didn't need to pay to win anymore. They had already won. So then they stopped doing it, and the prices started rising. Now, in this case, what it means in this game is that we can go to the store, and then down here, down here at the bottom right, you'll see Currency Exchange. In here, you can buy crystals using gold, okay? You can also buy... You can't buy royal crystals. There's no way to get those ones, but you can buy the basic crystals. Uh, this morning, they were 110. Now, they're all the way down to 81 for, what, like 100? So, what you'll do is you'll go in here and you'll just... Uh, there's a limit, though. You're going to want to do every single day. So, there is a limit, but you're going to do it every single day. <laughs> right in the beginning, it's going to be hard enough getting 800 coins a day, but uh, add that and then... It'll say there's a range, so you may pay as high as 145, but with how it is when I made this video, at least, you'll generally get it for what you wanted to pay. So then, it's a very confusing UI. Uh, so I paid 80 in order to get 95. So right now, a crystal is worth less than a gold coin. Absolutely ridiculous. It will not stay this way forever, guys. It absolutely will not stay this way forever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to not that buy. Uh, weird, the UI can't go back, I guess. Uh, you're just going to want to invest all your gold into it. And um, you're going to want to invest all your gold into crystals and just hold them. And uh, just keep every day when you get gold, just buy crystals. And just keep buying crystals. And just keep buying crystals. And just keep buying crystals. You just can't go wrong with it. Uh, worst case scenario, you have an insane amount of crystals, which... Are the thing that everybody's gonna want and you're gonna be able to buy stuff in here anyway as buying the stuff in here is gonna save you money buying like guardian stone fragments and destruction stones from mary's secret shop actually saves you money compared to buying them on the market it's cheaper than buying on the market so i mean you really just can't go wrong on this one guys so this is one situation you need to go 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 okay and every day you need to go in there and you need to buy out your 10 limit of 10 of converting gold to crystals if you can even get enough gold coins to support this addiction um, hopefully, if you're lucky, by the time the prices go up, you'll be able to collect like five, ten thousand crystals or something. And then here in a month or two, the price of those crystals is going to go through the roof. It's not sustainable long term. There's a zero percent chance this is sustainable long term. This is because there's 1.3 million people online at any given time, which means there's probably like at least five million people coming in and out of the game over the over a day or two cycle. Uh, that is not sustainable long term. So this is a one-time opportunity to just take advantage of the people who are paying to win and winning off of the people who are paying to win. So people who are paying to win, they're going to win first, but you can also win off of them winning. So this is your chance. Buy up those crystals. Uh, hold those crystals. Convert all your gold into crystals. Try to get enough gold every day to buy 10 instances of those crystals and just do it every single day until you have, I don't know, insane amount of crystals until so it goes up in price. I mean, you get the idea. It's, it's totally busted. Uh, I saw this in Arch Age before. I actually used to build to an Arch Age. There was the premium stuff, and there was stuff. There was actually this item that would give you your work energy back that you could buy infinite of. And I was able to buy that, convert materials, sell the materials, and then buy more of those potions and just make money, just sitting there converting materials till I was max level. And after a month, after the game had been after the game had been out for a month, it was physically impossible to do that. The prices had gone up like tenfold, twentyfold type of prices. So if this game's going to do anything even slightly similar, we'll be able to buy these crystals for anywhere from 50 gold for 100 all the way to like 150 gold for 100. And then 
in like two months, it might just be where like crystals are 1,000, or what is it, 100 gold. I'm saying it weird. Okay, so 1,000 gold to buy 100 crystals. That's what I'm going to say. So it might go up 10 times. And so if you just keep investing, then once the day comes that they just go through the roof, you just sell out and just make absurd amount. Make 10 times what you invested, 20 times what you invested. If it's anything like Archage, it's going to be 10 to 20 times what you invest. Hopefully this tip helped you out. If you want more Lost Ark tips, uh, definitely consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I've got other ideas planned. I've got ideas for uh, getting your gathering skills up absurdly fast and making money at the same time. Uh, lots of different ways to take advantage of the game mechanics that we have in place and take advantage, advantage of launch situations. So uh, if any of that sounds interesting, you can consider subscribing. Also, try to keep up with Lost Ark news, uh, patch notes, uh, anything the devs have to say for us and stuff I usually post on this YouTube. So again, if that sounds interesting, you definitely consider subscribing. You can also follow me on my socials in the description of this video below the first paragraph, Discord, that type of stuff. Uh, but yeah, now you know the OP money scheme. Invest all your money, buy an absurd amount of crystals where they're cheap, and make an absurd amount of money or crystals, whichever way you want to look at it, in Lost Ark.